I'm just chopping up some arugula here. Pre-washed and ready to go. Love that. Huge time saver. This is, I think, the star of my mom's stuffing. It's a very peppery green. It's called rucola in Italian. That means rocket. Rocket lettuce. You want to chop all these things very fine. I'm chopping up a little uh, parsley. I'm going to sprinkle in some breadcrumbs in the base of my bowl. So I just put a splash of milk in there to moisten the bread up a bit. I'm going to add my arugula and my parsley in there. A couple of good handfuls of grated cheese. You could use parm, you could use locatelli, asiago, any firm cheese. Good amount of salt and pepper in there. I like it kind of coarse like that. A little bit of salt because you got a lot of salt in the cheese going on. Now the garlic, I'm just going to need a couple of cloves cracked when I brown up the meat, so I'm just going to save that off to the side. The onion goes right in the stuffing though. You just need a real small onion. You just want little bits of it going throughout the stuffing. Beautiful. I think that's fine. Pop that in there. And you just lightly toss this with your fingertips. Get it combined way up from the bottom because you got the milk in there. You don't want to end up with clumps. Just run it through your fingers real quick. Oh, it's so fragrant. It smells fantastic. I'm going to pile this out, set these off to the side here, and show you how to build a couple of these. You take the thin cut of meat. You're going to top it with a piece of prosciutto. It's an Italian ham. Just like this. Now, I put the stuffing right down, right on top of that ham. And just a little bit. You don't want it to come out while it's cooking. So a little bit like that. Let me just grab my toothpicks here. You're going to need the toothpicks to secure it so that the meat doesn't start to unroll when you're browning it. Roll it up nice and tight all the way to the edge. Beautiful. Perfect. I just give it a little squeeze like that to kind of set my stuffing in there. And then you just anchor it with a couple of picks. Now don't bury them in there so deep you can't get them out when you're ready to. Perfect. And I've got my skillet nice and hot here, so I'm going to put a couple of cloves of cracked garlic in the bottom with enough extra virgin olive oil to coat the bottom of the pan so the meat browns up really nicely. Pan's good and hot. I finished rolling up my meat here. And let me just grab some tongs to work with. I've got it anchored with toothpicks so that wonderful stuffing of arugula and breadcrumb and cheese and parsley won't come out on me. I used a thin cut strip steak so it's nice and tender and the meat will cook up quick. Ooh, it smells wonderful. Now I'm going to brown this on both sides then get it out of the pan so I can build the sauce. Then you set it back in for a few minutes to finish off. Give my meat a turn here. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. See, I told you it goes really quick. Mm, the garlic is so great. Just crack the cloves, though. Don't chop them all the way, because they'll get a little bitter in there. They would burn up, because I got this pan really hot to get the meat that great color. OK, let that hang out a minute and get onto the uh, creminis. A few caps will do me here. I'm going to do this one last one. You just want little bits of it going through. This is a very, very light sauce compared to a lot of brujols that are done in a heavy tomato sauce and really slow cooking. This one's very quick. OK, I think that's a good amount of mushroom. Get my meat out. I'm going to add a little bit of butter to that pan. Turn it down now. I got the meat brown, so now I can drop the temperature on that a little bit. Set my mushrooms right down into that butter. And the butter is going to help me make a quick roux in the bottom of the pan here to thicken up my sauce. Let that go for a minute. Get some of the uh, cans open that I need. I've got beef stock and tomato paste here. It's a very, very simple sauce. Okay, now that's sauteed up a little. The butter's all melted down in there. We can go ahead and sprinkle in our flour. A couple spoonfuls of that. And you got to let it cook a little bit so you don't have that raw flour taste. As it cooks up with the fat in the bottom of the pan there, it's going to make a great thickening agent for the sauce. 
Got my pan on medium heat. Hit it with a cup of wine and just bring up all those good bits from the bottom. Gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that color. Beautiful. Incorporate the beef stock. There we go. Get that in there. Mmm. At this point, the sauce has come together. I let the tomato paste cook out a bit. I need to put a lid on it just to finish cooking the meat all the way through there. Spoon that down over it there. Lovely. Much lighter than most brujoles. I love this dish. It's perfect.